Hi, this is Shelly's Everyday Prepping Adventures. I hope everyone is well. I want to um, to thank everybody that subscribed and everybody that has, has stuck with me. I haven't been on for a little bit. I've been dealing with some health issues and uh, different things. So um, I just haven't, I haven't really felt like, like being on here uh, simply because I haven't felt well and then we were doing so much i think i just over exhausted myself um working around um, getting ready for winter and different things so um it is thursday september 22nd 2022 and i wanted to check in with you guys i wanted to thank uh any new subscribers and all of my sus subscribers for being here and supporting me i decided last weekend i'm going to start keeping a price log so everything i buy I, I write down what i used to pay for it what i'm paying for it now and i'm tracking it and what's in the stores and what's not in the stores everything is fluctuating so much that um, it's hard to keep up with so i have an 18 year old dog a little little tiny dog and he doesn't really have any teeth so i buy him i buy him this uh, choice cuts and gravy so he can chew it or gum it or whatever he needs to do. Um, there's 24 in a pack. Now, normally I buy 30 in a pack. 30 in a pack has gone up from 18, 1899. It's gone up to almost $24 for 30. So, um, then I go and I find this. It's only got 24 in a pack and it's $19. So prices have gone up exponentially um, and they're cutting back on the size of packages. We all know that. I purchased, I have other dogs and they eat dry food and I purchased Purina One for them. And a 40 pound bag of dog food has gone up from $45 to $54. So... You know, when I was a child, which seems like it was a long time ago, which maybe it is, it's in the 70s and the early 80s, when I was a uh, child and a young teenager, we would buy 50 pound bags of dog food for $20 and we thought that was crazy. But now the bags have gone from 50 to 40 and, and they've been that way for a while. But, you know, it's just that everything is going up and it's, it's taking its toll on everyone. My daughter um, has her son in a private school and things have gone up so much that she called me and she said, Mom, I'm, I'm not making it. I've got three kids. And she said the um, childcare cost plus his private school has gone through the roof along with everything else. She said, I go to the grocery store. I used to spend a hundred dollars. I spent 300. She said, and it's nothing amazing. It's just, I said, I, I understand. I've been telling you this and we've been talking about it now for a while. And, um, I know that you've stocked up, but there's still stuff that you need to go and purchase. So anyway, um, she has been debating for a while and then she finally decided that she was going to have to, in order for the family to survive, she was going to have to pull her kid her son out of private school and put him in public school school excuse me which really um bothers her she doesn't like the indoctrination and the teachings he's 12 so she's hoping and praying that what she's done so far will stay with him and guide him because she said mom i don't have many choices here everything is insane so we've both um been praying about it and thinking about it and <coughs> Excuse me. So um, we have been, you know, struggling with a lot of hard decisions, which we knew were coming. We knew that eventually things would get to the point where hard decisions had to be made. And that's where we've been. And again, that's that's one of the reasons you haven't seen too much of me. Like I said, I've been exhausted. I've run myself down working, you know, trying to pay stuff and getting stuff put up, uh, rearranging and organizing things so that I know where everything's at. So this morning, uh, well, last night, I thought to myself, 
if I got up in the morning and we didn't have electric, how would I do the things that I need to do? I thought, well, the first thing that I do now, it's gotten dark. It's still dark um, at six o'clock now. So, you know, six, six thirty, it's dark. So I thought to myself, well, I need to put a box under my bed and, and have, well, I have a flashlight that always stays by my bed, but I need to put flashlights, candles and matches and stuff in there so that I can find them when I don't have, you know, if I don't have electric. The next thing I do is I go to the bathroom. What am I going to do if I can't flush the toilet? Well, I'll get one flush out of it, but I won't get any more. So we got to think about these things. What will I do to brush my teeth? Yes, I've stocked up on water, but it's not nearly enough. Um, it's not enough. For, I mean, I would go through the water that I've got. I mean, for drinking, it would last me a while. But if I was using it for other things like doing dishes or brushing my teeth or flushing the toilet, it wouldn't last long. So, you know, I got to thinking, OK, how will I get through my day if I do not have the ability <clears throat> to turn on the sink and just get water? So I sat down with my husband um, this morning. And I said, we need to go through some drills. We need to practice. We need to see what, you know, we need to make this as smooth as possible. What are we going to do? You know, and um, he agreed. So we're going to do that um, probably this weekend. So I understand, you know, that um, we need to go through things. He also pointed out that we do have a generator, which is a, it's a propane or gas generator. And he prefers to use the propane simply because propane won't clog up the carburetor like gas will. So we're going to go through a drill and practice, you know, what will we do without electric? Um, we're going to run the generator. We're going to try to work out all the bugs and see what we need to do so that things will go at least smoother than, you know, we have, um, a hundred pound propane tank, we're going to get it filled. It's not completely full. It has some in it, but it's not full at this point. So we have everything that we need to cook on. Um, we can cook outside over an open fire. We have that availability. I also have camp stoves and I have small bottles of propane that I've stocked up on. And that's a, another thing. Propane has gone up so high. Um, when I was buying the little propane bottles, camping bottles, they were two for like seven ninety four or something. And now they're $10 and up um, for two bottles. Now one bottle is as much as I was paying for two. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, and people are throwing out these dates at the end of the month, which we are at the end of the month. They're throwing out dates like um, the 24th, the 26th and the 30th. I don't know anything about any of that. Um, I do know historically, um, September and October are bad times for the financial system. Um, other than that, that's all I really know. I don't want to, I, I don't want to get into anything. I don't, I just want to preserve myself and what I can, and you need to do the same for yourself. So, um, you need to go out and you need to, if you can, you need to stack it to the rafters. You need to have food that is your that's your backup and then you have to get your seeds and learn how to garden um you can read about it you can you know prepare yourself um the best that you can i i don't know what else to say i i know that gardens are not going to be viable over the winter some people who are really good gardeners can grow things over the winter i do know that um if you had a greenhouse you could grow things over the winter um but that's not feasible for all of us. Uh, please ignore the dog in the background. He um, just came in for a groom and I'm finishing up my video before I get to him. Um, so anyway, I, uh, I've missed being on here. I apologize for um, the big gap. Um, and I'm going to try to do better, but you know, life does get in the way. I, I don't do this to make money. I do this because I enjoy it. It. I enjoy getting on here and talking to you guys about what's going on in the world. Um, I did do a walkthrough through Walmart today. I did notice that um, dog treats, dog food, and cat food are, are 
low um, when I walked through the um, the um, dairy it was it was on the low side I walked through um, the pastas and I did find and I have I, I stocked up on plenty of pasta but when I find the half size spaghetti that you don't have to break I buy I buy those so I bought six boxes of that today I did also stock up on um, my vitamins um, they just about everything comes from China. Our vitamins come from China. They're apparently locking down or have locked down again. I don't know. I don't watch mainstream media. I don't, I just, I can't, I can't do it. I, I, it, I just can't. So um, I just pick up little things here and there, what I hear, and I listen to a couple of channels that I trust, and that's where I get most of my information. So the pasta was low, but they did have a few of the short, pasta spaghetti boxes and I picked those up um, the uh, spaghetti sauce is is pretty slim my f I went through the coffee my favorite coffee is was not there it's gone um, I love chock full of nuts and there was there was nothing um, luckily I have stocked up on coffee I've stocked up on the instant coffee um, I am a cold coffee person. I do enjoy my cold coffee. So um, the instant coffee will be just fine for um, for making my cold coffee. I can just stick it in cold and, you know, add ice and, you know, all that stuff. So that's, I love cold coffee. I love it no matter what time of year it is. So I have been stocking up on the um, freeze-dried coffees, um, the instant coffees. Because it lasts longer, uh, the shelf date I think was 2026, 2027 um, on the stuff that I picked up, but it is going up like crazy. Now, um, last week, last Friday, I went to Aldi, which is uh, about 30 minutes from my house, and they had the freeze-dried coffee for under $4, and I was like, wow, so I picked up four jars of it there. I went to Walmart this morning, and I looked at it, and the same jar is $6. And no, almost seven dollars uh, at Walmart. So, you know, I try to shop my bargains. I try to, you know, um, take care of things the best I can, and um, watch the sales. Lately, I've had a lot. I've been I've been wanting tuna fish, so we've been having a lot of tuna fish sandwiches. I like tuna fish on toast with a little bit of cheese. So lately, I've been on a tuna fish kick. So I picked up some more tuna fish to replace what I had used. So it's this constant rotation. You got to keep that in mind. You're always rotating. You're always thinking, you know, uh, in the back of your mind, I have to pick this up. I have to pick that up. I also wanted to remind everybody that um, if you're stocking up on bleach, which I do, please rotate your bleach. It does have an expiration date on it. I use a lot of bleach between my home and between my work, my you know, my grooming salon, we use a lot of uh, bleach for cleaning floors and kennels to keep dogs from getting sick, you know, from other dogs. So, it, you know, if you're, if you're stocking up on bleach, you need to, to look at that. Also, I buy uh, the bleach tablets. They last a little longer than the liquid bleach, so you can rotate those out as well. Um, the detergent, I walked through the detergent aisle today, clothes detergent, and it was pretty low. Um, so I, I have to buy a certain kind because I have allergies to some of it. So I buy the free and clear and it was a way up on top of the shelf and I had to get, I had to climb the shelf. They tell you not to do that, but you know, I don't care. I'm a farm girl, climb more gates and more silos than you can imagine. So I don't care to climb that. Anyway, so I, I got that. And then, um, I did a walk through, where else did I, oh, the peanut butter, the peanut butter is low, the, um, and the jellies are low. So anyway, I want to thank you for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.